Hi, my name is Chad Adams. I work with Skelton Key in St. Louis, Missouri. And in this example, we're going to take some of the things we learned in the other text parsing videos and wrap it all together and talk about how to use these things in conjunction with each other um, to parse a block of text. For this example, we're going to take uh, some of the different text parsing tools we just talked about and throw them all together to try to actually use it on a live uh, example. So here I've got a list of names separated by commas, and in our what we're going to try to strive to, to try to get to is the sixth person's initials. So let's take a look and see if we can get there. And uh, example one, we're going to use the middle function for this. So we got middle, and middle says the text we want. We'll feed that in. The start, let's just use one for now, and the number of characters, we're going to use this position function. Again, my text. The search term, we've got commas as our delimiter between names, so we'll search for the comma. Start one, occurrence six, and what that gives me, my position gives me the, the number, counting from the left, of the sixth comma. So when I do the middle and I tell it to start from the one and give me that many characters, what I end up with is from the left, I end up with everything over to my sixth person. So I know that Samantha Jones is my sixth person. What I really want to try to do is narrow that down to just her name and then just her first and last name so that I can get her initials in a fairly clear manner. So what happens if instead of starting at one, let's take a look at middle again just to remember what middle says. We've got text, start, number of characters. Instead of starting at one, what if I started at the position of the fifth character, or the fifth comma, so I'm going to copy this, replace my one with it, and instead of the sixth one, I want the fifth one, okay? Let's take a look at what that does for us. Okay, that's closer. Now we've got Samantha Jones as the beginning, but we've got all these people on the end because that is the length that I'm telling it to get. So I just moved my block of text over. Instead of starting at 1, going to the position of the 6th comma, I'm now starting at the position of the 5th comma and getting the number of characters to the position of the 6th comma, which is, again, uh, counting from the beginning, even though this is starting from the 5th. So it's a little bit confusing. But what I need to do is I, try, I need to try to get the position of the 6th comma and subtract that from the position of the 5th comma so that I can figure out the length of this, those characters and put them right in here. So let's give that a shot. If I take the position of this 5th comma, copy that, jump in here and say the position of the sixth comma minus the position of the fifth comma, then there we go. That gives me just Samantha Jones and it's got these extra characters on the beginning because the position of the fifth comma is in fact right there. So if I come in here though and I say position of the fifth comma plus two, one for the comma, one for the space, then that's going to evaluate here. It's my starting position now is starting right at Samantha. My length is still taking all of everything into effect here. So let's take this position function and we will actually do plus two there as well. I had to wrap that in parentheses so it would evaluate correctly. And there we go. Now we're down to just Samantha Jones. So this set of, of functions, middle, um, position, and position, I can get to just Samantha Jones's name. Now what we want though are her initials. So let's take this, copy it, or actually cut it in this case, and let's use left words. And as our text, we're gonna have left words evaluate the text we just figured out. So I'm gonna paste that back in, and the number of words I want is one. Evaluate now, I just get Samantha, that's perfect. So I can do one, and let's go ahead and put an and symbol here, and, and instead of doing left words, let's go ahead and put in right words. Right words, my text, number of words, one. So now we're back to Samantha Jones, but I'm getting the and symbol there, just concatenating these together. So I've got left words, Samantha, right words, Jones. So if I take this one back out, now I can just use my straight left function to get the initial left, paste that back in. How many characters do I want? Just one. Evaluate S. Jones. And here, again using left, put my block of text back in, number of characters, one, and S. J. So, the problem with this 
is that that is really ugly. So I want to turn you on to the let function. And although we're not going to talk about the let function today, we will cover that in another video, um, the, one of the main uses of the let function, in, in my world anyway, is for making big ugly calculations like this simpler. So I'm going to paste in the let function here where I took all that, parsed it out into variables, and we end up with this being our calculation, which is very easy to read. I want the left first name one and left last name one. When I evaluate that, I can get SJ. So look at let, it's pretty cool, but that's not the focus of this movie. So let's go back now and I'll show you example two.